A uh, question for Dan. Um, in recent Transformers, they've made the decision for Bumblebee not to talk. I was just wondering, what is your opinion on that? I think it was a wise decision. <laughs> Uh, actually, um, uh, he, he has spoken in uh, he, but in Prime. He, he finally got his voice back, and uh, I, in Transformers Animated, uh, he spoke also. And they chose um, younger guys to to voice him, which I'm incredibly resentful of. And, uh, <laughs> as you should be, yeah, as I should be. But um, you know, the Michael Bay movies are are a thing to the, are a thing unto themselves. And I'm not sure whether my voice would actually work when you see that. You know, even Bumblebee is a, is a, is a large uh, you know a large piece of equipment, uh, even, you know, in relation to a human being. So I'm not sure that the high-pitched voice would even work in that case. So I, I think, you know, the, the creative uh, decisions that have been made since then have been absolutely fine. I have no problem with it. And by the way, it was great fun going back to do Transformers Devastation. Have you all played it? Yeah. yeah, if you're a G1, I've heard nothing but raves from G1 fans. For, so, you know, for that, it was a great deal of fun. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Question for Mr. Dill. Do you have a memorable episode or moment or favorite character that you like to write? Favorite character? Probably the most fun and easiest one to write was Starscream because he's just such a treacherous swine. You know, I mean, I mean, he, you know, he just loves it. You know? Yeah, I mean, if I did, but I mean, you know, there, it, I'd say it matches up with the core characters. I mean, it's, you know, Bumblebee, Optimus, Megatron, Starscream, you know. Uh, and, I, and I like some of the G1 characters. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Now we'll really leave. Yeah, right. we're going back. Big hand for our guests. Thank you all very much. We're going to be starting our next panel almost immediately. Oh no! Have a good morning.